The following program contains adult language, poor taste in jokes, racial slurs, political slurs, slants, and all sorts of things that if you are sensitive and have a delicate constitution, you should probably go watch Teletubbies. You were warned. I ain't drunk. I'm just drinking. But you're so high. Oh man, you know I ain't high. But you're so high. Yeah, well I just take a little sip every now and then. But you're so high. You ought to be ashamed Stay of yourself. Drunk all oh come on now, you all don't feel like that. Bam! Hey kids, welcome back. Happy Tuesday afternoon. Um, it's been a long day. Hopped in the car, drove Louisville and back. Um, did some work stuff anyway. But uh, this is um, kind of a continued rant. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. And, you know, I've been working on planes, been working on quads. I'm actually building a new poor boy. I'll talk about that later. Um, but poor boys are just, you know, for fun. Uh, and I'm going to do some other things whilst we're talking. Um, I'm going to glue together my 3D printed plane wing, at least part of it. Uh, that way I don't look like the JJ Jewish guy, you know, anyway. Um, so the last rant that I did, we talked about, um, the FAA and the, um, flight commission and all this other stuff, that meeting that they had, and they had a really... Uh, I had, sorry, a really big, I liked it, you know, because, you know, usually rants are just bullshit and whatever else. And one of my, uh, the only guy that I really respect on YouTube, uh, that's big. I mean, I respect all my friends, obviously, but, uh, Bruce Simpson actually stopped in and said a message to me that was very cool. He was like, hey, great rant, keep up the good work, whatever, which I thought was great because I think that dude's just awesome. Um, but I had a lot of response from you guys bitching back at me about the, the FAA meeting thing and, and all this other stuff. And I think, I know I bashed on the, um, I ain't saying this shit. Um, I know I bashed on, what, what's the AMA? American Model Association or whatever the hell they are uh, because they're not doing fuck all to help us and uh, and I hold that true. I, <laughs> I think they're crap. But the thing that I want to talk about, let's, let's expand on that. And the reason I like to do that is because um, there were so many people that had great messages that came back and I think I replied to everybody and if I might have missed you, um, sorry if I did. But the thing that bothers me, it really bothers me that uh, they want to, you know, for one thing, the 250 gram thing just blows my fucking mind. I don't understand. Now, I'm not trying to get them to ban everything. Don't get me wrong. Or you have to register anything that's 250 grams or more. Um, and I'm not trying to make it worse for us or anything. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time, it's like, this fucking bird here, I would much rather get hit probably with this one than this one. This little bitch goes Mach 8 and it fits in the palm of your hand and weighs a whole lot less than 250, mil uh, 250 grams. And it's like, where did that number come from? The other thing that I want to chime in on is the fact that, you know, one of the big, uh, the blonde chick, and you know, this is just me kind of regurgitating what I already said. The blonde chick at that meeting, one of her gripes was, and, and she was a spokesman, spokeswoman, sorry, for, uh, you know, some companies that want to deliver shit by quad or drone. And uh, it's ridiculous because you're not going to see that happen anyway. Uh, you're not going to see it happen for a very, very long time. Um, because there's just too much danger in it, for one. And the other thing is, the JJ Roto geeks of the world, I like to consider myself an honest person, but if I have a drone drop down in my yard, I'm stealing that motherfucker, so I might be ordering shit just to get the drone so I can throw a net over the son of a bitch and steal it. Uh, I don't know, but the thing that, oops, shit, the thing that bothers me about this chick and these people that are trying to cash in, one of which is the government, right? Is the fact that 
they're the very people that are responsible for all the problems we're having. Now, here's, oh, I got that, my rotor twister. Here's what I mean by that, guys and gals, is how many of these drone encounters with airplanes and helicopters and all these things that the media has overhyped, how many of them have been with Mocha JJs or, um, you know, whatever type of racing quad you've built? Uh, campfire birds or mocha birds or, you know, Catalyst Machine Works quads, race quads, and things like that. How many of those reports have been from racing quadcopters? Hmm, none. Uh, every single one of them that I'm aware of. Now, if I'm wrong, and I'm not 100% educated on everything that's coming out, if I'm wrong, enlighten me, but I don't think a racing quad or a freestyle quad has ever come into contact with a helicopter in the media. Now, we all know the media's pinko bullshit anyway, right? But, um, am I going the right way? Sorry. I think I am. Yeah. Uh, but the thing of it is, what, what major brand, let's, let's be honest, because they always want publicity, right? Because they think they're the ultimate drone makers. What major brand is responsible. Oh, who was it? What was the acronym? DJI. Bam. Okay, so here's an idea. And my brother Twitch in the club, I was talking to him right before I came out here. He made a really good comment. He said something like, uh, what did he call it? The Best Buy Warriors are the ones to blame. I don't disagree with that. Those of us that are reasonably, reasonably, um, educated or knowledgeable in this this hobby in this field are smart enough not to get in fucking trouble but it, he's saying basically the people that go out and buy this pre-built crap which i am very very much against pre-built anything um your first bird should be a pre-built just so you can kind of dissect it and see what you're doing and then every bird you own thereafter should be made by you or you and a buddy it's a great buddy thing uh whatever but and he's like, he called them the Best Buy Warriors, and I thought that was excellent. But realistically, guys, it's always, almost always, every one of these blooper videos I've seen has been a DJI phantom what the fuck smashing into something or smashing into somebody's fucking head or whatever the case may be. But yet they're the ones that are lobbying to get our airspace. Make no mistake, kids, they have a very, very big vested interest in the Amazons of the world and the businesses of the world that are planning on doing these drone deliveries. But don't you find that kind of ironic? I mean, here sits this broad on the end, the right-hand side of that meeting. And if you didn't see that uh, last rant I did, look through the list and look, watch it, or watch Bruce Simpson on Extra. And uh, this chick, you know, she's an advocate for the drone delivery people. And they basically want our free airspace that we already have and are entitled to, that we've had forever. And they want it, and they want to use it for money. That's basically all this is. That's all this comes down to, right? So, but yet, those are the DJI type of people. It bothers me. It really, really fucking bothers me. <laughs> It's like the very people that are enabling the ignorant cunts of the fucking hobby to crash. And nobody's crashing in airplanes. That's all media hype. But, you know, to do stupid things like that, it is the DJIs of the world. But yet they're the ones that want to market from it. Let's ban them. Seriously? Ugh. Here's the other thing that bothers me about the whole, the whole propaganda thing. Okay, and that's what this is. It's media propaganda. A drone has never killed anybody. Well, a radio-controlled hobby drone has never killed anybody. It has never, you know, I seriously doubt even the claims of them hitting aircraft. Uh, you know, it's all just media propaganda. But again, let's do it like this. My buddy Twitch brought this up. He's like, well, it's those Best Buy warriors that are doing this to all of us guys that are semi-responsible. And I agreed with him. But here's the trick. You know, if I get my car, and I do, you know, have one too many roto twisters, which has happened <laughs> daily, um, and I kill somebody, let's say I whack a, f oh shit, the bed, I whack a family of five on the way home, are they going to ban automobiles? 
No, they're not. Are they going to ban the type of car that I drive? No, they're not. What are they going to do? They're going to ban me. <laughs> right? I Vehicular manslaughter. Boom, 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 boom. Um, if I get into a boat and I whack some people in a fucking boat, are they going to ban boats? Oh, okay, let's take another prime example here. Let's take a Boeing 737. The Boeing 737 back in the day, uh, which was it created in uh, 1968, if I'm not mistaken. And one of the problems that it had, it brought down two planes, one with 120 some odd people, the other one with like 200 and some, and they all died because they had this dual action valve that uh, and I'm not going to get into the the physics of it but you know if it was half closed and they jammed on the uh the rudder it would fuck things up blah 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 so what did they do well they went in to go fix it and do retrofits and things like that did they ban airplanes no sir they did not um did they ban the 737 no but that has happened I mean, and I would too if I was in the FAA. If I had an airplane that was a complete piece of shit and people are dying on it, yeah, well, we're not going to ban fucking airplanes. We're going to ban either A, the dumbass pilot, if it was a pilot's fault, or we're going to ban the actual airplane that is the problem. You know, whatever the problem is, get rid of it. The problem in our society <laughs> is media, 100%. The second problem in our society is the bureaucratic bullshit and the third problem is the idiot cunts that go to Best Buy and they buy a uh, 3DR, which is 3D Robotics. Nothing against that company. I like them better than DJI. Or they buy a, a, a DJI Phantom, whatever the case may be. Those are the guys we're having the problem with, okay? It's not anybody else. So find them fuckers, right? I mean, it's just, it's absolute, it's, it's borderline hypocrisy. Oh, smoking hot wife? Daddy. Nope, smoking kid, kid. What, babe? Hang on. Sorry about that. A professional person would edit that out, but that was my kid, and I'm not going to bother with that. So, um, yeah, I mean, really? Why? You're not going to ban an entire thing. It's like Obama again, that cunt's fuck stick. You know, it's like he wanted to ban, he, he knew he couldn't ban guns, but he could ban ammo. And that brings me to my next trick of the trade. The next thing I'm going to rant about is the FCC. Yes, not the FAA. I'm putting two wings together here. Um, <laughs> yeah, so you've got the FAA, which is the airplane folks, which are dimwits at best. They might know airplanes, but they don't know anything else in the airspace. And then you've got the FCC. And this is the next thing that's coming. Mark my fucking words. It's out there. You see the FCC, and I'll probably get these acronyms mixed up as time goes on here. You'll see the FCC is suing the likes of Bang, not Banggood, um, Hobby King. Mm, got a chemical twist to it now. Pretty good. Um, Hobby King, they're suing him for what is it? 2.8 million bucks or some crazy shit? Uh, yeah, that's not good. Um, because they're not compliant with FCC regulations. Now, I was driving today and, you know, had a little bit of time on my hands in between stops and I did some research. It is very difficult for the common person, which I am common, to figure out what the right fucking laws are to abide. I didn't even know. I've been in this fucking hobby for how long now? Four years, I'm going to say. Something of that nature. And I didn't even know. I'm like, what is legal? <laughs> what is the legal... Hang on. I'm trying to get these wings together. What is the legal milliwatt, which is what I wanted to know, of what we can fly without a ham license, right? Wow, that turned out good. Um, and I didn't even know because, you know, you can you can look into uh, bandwidths and frequency modulations and amplitude modulation, which is, you know, AM and FM, and we run in FM, and it's like, what is it? <laughs> so as near as I can tell, and please out there, you ham radio guys, and you guys are way smarter than me, uh, when it comes to this regulation stuff, 
please let me know if I'm wrong. But from what I read, the only power that you can do for non-ham licensed ham radio, which is, you know, a hobbyist thing as well, non-ham licensed is one milliwatt. Now, please, I might be wrong, but that's what I found online. Please correct me if I am wrong. Um... I'm like, one milliwatt? Okay, now think about that, guys. One milliwatt. Most of us are running, if you're racing, you're probably running 25 milliwatts. If you're just fucking around like me and Blackhawk do with, with freestyle quads, you're probably running 200. If you're running a funky, crazy GPS drone, you might be running 600. Um, yeah, that's going to be coming to an end too because now look what's happening this is this is the politics of what i want you guys to understand all right i was talking to my buddies in, in patriot plates today and they're like oh well don't worry about that you know we've been illegal the entire time i say yes this is true but what's happening now is you're seeing the the fcc starting to come down on the hobby kings of the world and you're starting to see them come down. Let's just say on Bang Goods or the Gear Bass. I don't know who else is involved with these these lawsuits because you're selling this gear in America. I could open up my magic drawer and pull out a ton of illegal VTXs. You're selling these things in America to these people that have no ham license and or even if they do, it's still illegal. I don't know all the way what ham license guys can do, um, but either way. Every fucking one of you out there is illegal. Now, I had the displeasure a long time ago when I first started into FPV. I was building GPS drones for about a year before I even got into the FPV end of it. And um, one of the things I learned, sadly, was I bought a pair of fat sharks that were absolutely, I hated them, I got rid of them. Actually, I threw them away. Um, and uh, they were the junk ones, I can't remember, they were teleporters or something, they were, uh, I didn't know any better at the time, and uh, I bought a, you know, and it came with a, a VTX that was a 25 milliwatt, so it said, um, FCC compliant VTX. I'm pretty sure I couldn't have made it to the end of my fucking driveway without snow on that thing. I am not kidding, guys absolutely fucking terrible so if it gets down to the point where the fcc is saying to the best buys of the not best buys bang goods of the world and the hobby kings of the world and the get fpvs of the world and, and they will follow suit real quick because they're smaller companies um it's like hey you guys cannot sell anything other than a fat shark or whatever i'm using that as an example fat shark fcc uh, 25 milliwatt crap wagon fucking VTX that seriously, you might as well fly line of sight. That's how bad they are. Uh, that's where you're going to see the distortion. All right. And I told my boys, I said, look, y'all might want to, maybe I'm just playing bomb shelter guy. Maybe I'm that creepy guy in the fifties that built the bomb shelters in his backyard, but you might want to go out there while you can and suck up the big VTXs. Um, Banggood, which the only thing I buy from Banggood usually is uh, some building materials, but usually the VTX 03s. I just bought like 20 of them tonight because they have them on sale for 10 bucks a piece. And I use those things in everything. And I've got a whole drawer full of them already. And I'm just like, no, nah. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to stock up on ammo, if you will. And I was talking to my buddy about it and he's like, well, you know, why, why now? Why now is this happening? One. You've got the FAA starting to squelch, and you got the FCC coming in now, and then you got the private sector, commercial sector of drones coming into it now. So now they're all banding up, and they're throwing cards into a fucking hat, and they're like, "What can we do to squash these? Get these fuck sticks out of the picture, meaning us hobbyists, and let's just you know we can have our own you know highway up in the sky." And that's one of the things that they're going to do. And I told my buddy, it's like anything else. It's like when I used to smoke cigarettes, it's the same thing. I smoked Camel non-filters from the age of 13 to 33. They were the most, and I'm 43 now, they're the most expensive cigarette you could buy at the time. Believe it or not, when I quit smoking in fucking Ohio back in 90, or not 90, 2000, whatever the fuck, uh, you know, five years ago, six years ago, they were almost $10 a pack for camel non-filters. Why is that? Because the government wants a cut. That's all it is. It's the same thing with booze. It's the same thing with gambling. Go to your casinos. If they're getting a cut, 
they're fucking happy. And that's exactly how it's going to be with this hobby. I don't think a lot of us, a lot of you guys, and, and even myself included, um, understand the scale of how much money and revenue this hobby generates. It's a fuck ton. I know it's like, okay, well, yeah, man, I spend a hundred bucks a month. Yeah, that's you times a hundred thousand people in America or whatever. You know, I don't know the actual stats. It's a fuck ton of money. And the government looks at, whenever they see a fuck ton of money coming around, they're like, hmm, how can we get a bite of that? We can sell ham radio licenses. Or we can do this, or we can do that. That's basically all this boils down to. Or the private sector, we're going to make their licenses even higher, and we're just going to kick out the little guy, which is you and me, and we're just going to sell them a commercial license for 5000 bucks a year. That's going to really kick it in the dick. It's like, ah, that's what it's about, guys. It's bureau bureaucratic pinko bullshit. That's what it always is with the government. And... The other thing that was interesting, and I'm going to wrap this up just because I'm, uh, I'm just annoyed. But I read the uh, back to the FAA. I read the regulations, and now this is so. This is back to the airplane people, and I'm thinking, okay, the 250 gram thing really fucking bothers me. I don't know why. I I just it just it's just one of those things that just it's like the little bubble in the bathtub that creeps up your crack it won't pop it's one of those or when your kids battery you know toys your little kids toys have three double a batteries and the fucker goes bad what do you have to do you have to go buy four double a batteries because they don't sell them in three packs tell me that's not a conspiracy but anyway i'm getting off track <laughs> uh, i don't even know where i was going oh yeah yeah if you read it radio controlled airplanes anything that is radio controlled that is not manned, which is gay, because seriously, if I built an airplane large enough to haul my fat ass around in, it wouldn't be radio control. But that's their stipulation. Uh, it has to be unmanned, radio controlled, a frisbee does not count, a kite does not count, which is kind of funny. Um, yeah, other, just they had a bunch of stupid Q and A, but even model airplanes. And a lot of people think when they hear register your drone, that it's these oh that was eh sorry about that damn oh shit the bed okay i'm not editing that out i hit the phone with the this quad but when people this is my the one my buddy over in out east built for the charity but when people say you need to register your drones they're thinking drones or, you know, GPS drones or something like DJIs or something like that. No, 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 no. Any radio-controlled airplane, helicopter, anything that flies. Now, that's something they need to... If, you, if they want to get all bureaucratic about it, I think we should, too. It's like, well, if radio frequency is what you guys are worried about, and that's what's fucking everything up, do radio-controlled cars count? Because if I'm using a Tyrannus, like this guy here on a radio control car, this guy is transmitting just as far as the one I use for my quads. Are we going to regulate that too? Of course we will. Of course they will. Um, but this is a fad. It's not a fad, but it's a big up and coming hobby. And it's like, we want to get a piece of it. It is the airplanes, the helicopters, the quadcopters, and the drones. Drones have GPS, quadcopters don't. That's my thing. I'm sticking to it. Uh, but every airplane I have hanging in this garage, which is one, two, three, four, five, ten ish or whatever, every single one of them weighs more than 250. Dad, are you almost done? Yes, go in the house. And with that, I digress. Sorry, guys, it was a rant. Sorry for the phone falling. Sorry for the interruptions. But anyway, what we need to do in closing, what we need to do is we do not need the AMA. The AMA is a fucking joke, it's a modeling union. It's it's crap. Yeah, okay, some of you guys might be saying, the airplane dudes, oh, well, I get insurance. Okay, fine. But with an AMA license, nine times out of ten, you're flying at a fucking airfield. What do you need insurance for? Um, no, that's not what it's about. What we need is we need a, a volunteered group. And please hear me out on this. And then turn the fucker off and forget you heard anything. We need a volunteer group 
that has no commercial vested interest, meaning you're not going to make any fucking money off of it. You're not selling quads. You're not associated with selling frames. You're not making money off of YouTube, which I don't make a fucking cent, by the way. Uh, you're not sponsored by people. You have to be completely unaffiliated. Okay. DJI can't support you. Shit like that. Right. And we need to have a little mini radio controlled flying shit government. Maybe that's what we should call it. The Radio control RCFS, the RCFS, radio control fly, RCFS, whatever. You get the idea. And we need to, we don't, yeah, okay, elect them, but we need a group of 10 people, mass in numbers, maybe 100 people, maybe five people, I don't know, and a leader and a VP, you know, kind of make a government zero, zero, zero profitability. That's the only way you can trust it. When money comes into the bank, kids, that's when the teller gets greedy. And you know I'm right. Would you want DJI covering your ass? Or look at the AMA. It's the exact same thing. You know how much money the AMA is pulling in off you cats? You're paying 80 bucks a year for an AMA membership times a fucking lot? Seriously, that's what we need. We need a volunteer crew that's not making money off of RC. So the blue collar folks, no money off RC. And we need them to be included in these fucking meetings so we can be realistic. I want to hear your comments. Take care, guys. Keep the shine set up. Bam. Bye. <laughs>